E46 owners, do you want your indicator lights to stay on permanently? Well, in this video I'm going to show you how to do it. So you can have this coded using one of the BMW scan tools, um, which does cost a little bit of money. But in today's video I'm going to show you how to do it for free. So it's not going to cost you a cent. So mine is already done obviously, that's why it's on, uh, but I'm going to show you now how to do it. So I'm going to be doing this side for you. Now that side is exactly the same, so there's no need to show you that side. Um, and even with large hands like mine, I was still able to get in here and remove the bulb. But if you can't put your hands through there, get a 10 millimeter socket or spanner, take those two bolts, lift this up and rest it on that plastic cover and then you should have ample of space. Now to do this it's very simple. So in your headlight you have a side light on top. Uh, some people call it part light, some people call it side lights. Anyway you want to take those side lights out. Now to do that it's very simple. So you just get in here. So that's your normal headlight. That's your high beam or bright lights. You don't want to touch that. And then that small one there is your side light. So all you do is you twist it clockwise, like so, and then you pull it out. Once it's out, your bulb will be sitting here. Now, like I said, mine was already taken out, but your bulb will be sitting here, and then you just pull it off. Now, you can keep that bulb one side, maybe in your boot, just in case you choose to go back to stock. Once the bulb is out, you're going to put it back into place. So that hole right there, that's where it's going to go in. So you push it back in, hope you can see that. So to open it, we turn clockwise, now we're going to turn anti-clockwise. So just twist it anti-clockwise, and then that's it, literally that's it. And then you just do it on that side as well. And your end result will be that. Now this looks extremely cool at night or in low light conditions like now. Two downsides to this. Number one, your path light or side lights don't work anymore. So this stays permanently on. Um, and then the other disadvantage is the fact that these two warning lights will permanently stay on. Those jellyfish. Um, so yeah, if you don't want those lights on and if you still want your side lights to work, then I suggest you get it coded. But for those of us who just want to do it for free, just remove your side lights and hey presto, there you go. So when you put your headlights on, it goes off. But when you put your headlights off and leave it on the first switch, it will stay on. I think you can see that. And the good thing is, when you have your indicators on or your hazards, it will still work like a normal hazard. There you go. So for those of you who want to try this, I'm sure you can see that it's extremely simple. And you can always just go back to stock by just putting the bulbs back and those warning lights will go off. So, yeah, if you do uh, happen to try this out, please take a picture of it and tag me on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is at Vroompa. Like always, guys, thank you for watching. Please browse the channel and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more.